Alrighty, men. Diaper booty gang. Let's fucking rise up. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me recently. I actually can't believe that we've hit 1,000 subscribers. That means the absolute world to me. Currently, I'm on vacation, so I'm sorry that there isn't a mainline sense of video this week. I work a full-time job alongside doing this YouTube stuff. Plus, I'm in a Fortnite clan, a serious Fortnite clan, like super serious. We're all working on trying to get our KDAs to 1.0. Right now, they're having us work overtime, so I'm only spending like maybe 30 minutes minutes a week on YouTube so I wasn't able to stockpile a whole bunch of videos when I went out I'm sorry next week will be a mainline sends a video but for this week we'll just do the Q&A and the giveaway again thank you guys so much for 1,000 subs let's get straight to it we got a question from black Sun Raider are you planning on making a discord server so we can run events with you nothing would be better than hearing you struggle live I actually answered this question on the post we do have a discord server I'll make sure to put it in this video's description I would love for you to stop by and in the future, I definitely want to do something like that. With my schedule at the moment, I only really have time for YouTube, but I 100% want to stream. I want to stream my playthroughs that I'm doing and my challenges. I want to stream maybe some Discord events or even make videos of Discord events like a like a Discord talent show or something like that. I feel like that'd be amazing. But like I said, at the moment with my job and YouTube, I could only really make YouTube videos. Hopefully in the future, I could do something else. Maybe if I had time, I'd be able to stream like an hour a week but right now I'd rather just focus on YouTube thanks for asking the question though man moon monkey had a question for me hi Senza do you have a fart fetish tell the truth also what program do you use to edit love your videos hey moon monkey I do not have a fart fetish I just for some reason enjoy flatulence I enjoy the sound of flatulence and fart jokes are funny I also use Adobe Premiere to edit my videos looks like moon monkey had another question for me what's your name what's your height what's your age hair color feet or ankles i'm asking this question so i could put together an image of you in my head and make masturbation easier wow that's amazing i like this guy just from reading this comment i can tell he's probably the most chadliest guy you would ever meet i mean just look at those questions his confidence is oozing and he asks the most important and pressing questions just so he could formulate a slight idea of what i look like and get his nut off also to answer your question my real name is Taylor. I am six feet tall. I am 23 years old. I have black hair and I prefer neither of those. I like elbows. That shit fucking really gets my undies sizzling. Thanks for asking and thanks for stopping by. Jake Person had a question for me. Is your real name Chad because you Chad through everything? Jake, I'll have you know that my real name is not Chad. It is Taylor, but an ancient micro penis, Taylor translates to Chad. So, I mean, I guess technically, yeah, my real name is Chad. The next question comes from Mercs04. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And thanks for stopping by. I know you're in the Discord server. She asks, who inspired you to create these fantastic and enjoyable videos? That's a great question. I actually have a lot of YouTubers that inspired me. Just naming off a couple of them. I would say PewDiePie, Doug Doug, Critical. Filthy Frank, Mitten Squad, H3H3, a YouTuber that you guys may not know of called MTashed. Thanks for asking that question. We got a question here from Mr. Nugget. Do you plan to do a face reveal anytime soon? See, that's a good question. I do not, but I will make a deal with you guys. If we get to 200,000 subscribers, I will do a couple of things. First thing that I'll do is a face reveal. Second thing is a diaper booty gang tattoo on my right ass cheek. Third thing, is I'd get a bowl cut. And fourth, I would go skiing in my mankini. And yes, I have a mankini. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I look like, go ahead and tell your friends and family. Let's hit that 200k sub mark. I know it's never gonna fucking happen, so good luck. The reason why is because I wanna set a new standard for face reveals. I wanna be known as a man that got 200k subs, revealed his face, got a bowl cut, and flew down the mountain with his ass cheeks flapping in the wind. Mr. Nugget also asks, what are your plans for the future? I love your Skyrim slash Fallout challenge videos and I'd love to see more of them, but I'm also anxious to see what other kinds of content you're going to Put out. No matter what it is, I think I speak for the whole community when I say we will all support your amazing content. Keep putting out diaper booty autistic content and good luck for the future of your channel. Hey, I appreciate that man. For the future of my channel, Skyrim and Fallout will be a basis of course, but I'm gonna definitely move to different games. 
I plan to make a bunch of Borderlands 3 videos, a bunch of Outer Worlds videos, a bunch of Death Stranding, um, maybe challenges. I don't know if it'll be possible, but we'll see. I know for a fact, metric ass load of Cyberpunk challenges. I don't want to say tied down to Fallout slash Skyrim, but they are, and especially when the future installments come out, they are something that we're 100% going to heavily touch upon. And yeah, thanks for asking. Thanks for supporting the channel. People like you make me keep on going. The next question comes from Michael Brown. Do you plan on making longer videos? Michael Brown, first of all, you're cute. Second of all, I made a rule when I started making videos, and that is that I'm going to make videos anywhere from 9 minutes long to 16 minutes long. The reason why is because I personally hate watching videos that are over 16 minutes long, and I don't want my videos to be any longer than that. If I make a video that I feel like it needs to be longer, I will definitely make it longer, but it won't be the norm. It would just be the exception. The next question comes from It's Your Boy. Do you have an SO? Yes, I do have an so I'm in a very loving relationship. I'm very proud of her for dealing with my bullshit and me screaming at my computer screens, but hey, she supports my nice thick ass and even throws her finger in there every once in a while. Thanks for asking the question, man. The next question comes from Electricity. Hey, I'm Senza is my daddy on Discord. I just want to say you have some fucking awesome content and I cream when you release a new video. Heart you, Poppy. Hey, I heart you too, big daddy. I'm glad I'm able to make your PP rise and ejaculate just from watching my videos and, you know, that means the world. You could be on different websites right now, but you choose to be on my YouTube channel to make sure that spermination comes out of your wee-wee. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Harry Ass Scholl, that is literally the pinnacle of all usernames, drops by with a question asking, what's been your favorite challenge so far? And what's been the most frustrating? I would definitely say that the most frustrating was Fallout 4 using only voice commands. I'm 100%, I absolutely hated that. Same thing with the Fallout New Vegas using only voice commands. It's just that I only have three days a week to work on a video. So I, I have to record my games in almost like six hour sessions. So can could you imagine just saying hot dog water for six hours straight? I would say my favorite challenge was my Fallout 4 cannibalism challenge, and it was fun just kind of looking around in places you wouldn't expect trying to eat that ass, you know, to gain some health. Yeah, thanks for asking the question, man. I appreciate it. I'm gonna butcher the heck out of your name. Noyamanu drops by with the next question, asking, how the hell do you only have 1k subs? This is probably my favorite channel on any genre, let alone my favorite gaming channel. You're hilarious and somehow still manage to be unique. You're great at this. Thank you for producing such quality content. Hey, do you really want me to suck your dick off your pelvis, dude? Don't, don't say shit like that. How do you guys like this autism? I mean, I like it. I love it. But I I'm glad that you guys love it too and we can enjoy it together. And let alone being your favorite YouTube channel, like... <laughs> Dude, you're just fucking pulling my nipples and slapping my ass and calling me Sally. You know how to make a man blush. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, the diaper booty gang could grow larger soon in time. And I appreciate your comment, man. It seriously means the world. The next question comes from Slap and Clap. Do you forgive my sins and what's your favorite food? I do not forgive your sins. I've seen what you've done to that bathroom stall over on 8th Street next to the McDonald's. You're a disgusting human being. Um, and my favorite food is probably pizza. Thanks for the question, man. Richard Graydon asks, do you love me? Yeah, I mean, I guess. You're pretty cute. I mean, maybe we could go out for coffee sometime. I'd enjoy that. BT... D Daddy Senza, what is your favorite game? Honestly, I'd have to say my favorite game is Backdoor Sluts 9, the first expansion for WoW. I don't know if you've ever played that back in the day. Or Paw Patrol on a Roll. I have a buddy that did a challenge on that game. You guys should check him out and you could see why I really enjoy Paw Patrol on a Roll. It's a great game, masterfully done. You gotta have that big brain to complete it. And you know, honestly, it was just made by people with really big dicks. So check it out. In all seriousness, though, probably my favorite game. It's a tie between Last of Us and Red Dead Redemption 2. They're the only two games that have made me cry, nut, and fart all at the same time in the span of an hour. And, you know, that just that, that's a very life-changing experience. The next question comes from Edgar. What's it take to be one of your many slaves chained up in your basement? How do I apply for a position? And how can I move up the corporate ladder? That's a very great question, Edgar. And honestly, I'm glad you asked because I've had many questions like that. To get a spot into my basement and to be one of my slaves, I, I would have to say you need to have a thick ass and some really, really nice thighs. And I'm not just talking nice as in like toned, you hit up the gym. No, 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 no. Your thighs, 
need to be hydraulic presses. I, I want you to put a, a nice Boeing 737 in between your thighs, and if you could hydraulic press that shit, you have a spot on my team. The next question comes from Thought Hunter 420 What do you plan to do if YouTube fails? I plan to do nothing. I, I currently don't make any money on YouTube at all. I mean, if YouTube fails, I'll keep on doing what I'm doing now and keep working. <laughs> the next question comes from my Australian friend, Kai Martin. How many consoles slash PCs do you own? Which are your favorite slash least favorites of all time? I own two PCs, a Nintendo Switch, and a PS4. The PS4 is a paperweight, and the Nintendo Switch, it's, it's somewhat useful. I detach the Joy-Cons and wipe my ass with them, actually. It makes it really easy because you could just wash off the Joy-Cons and put them back on. Honestly, though, I, I don't play any of them. I just I hang out on my PC 24-7 whenever I can. So yeah, the next question comes from Jack Moore. Is Dragonite your favorite Pokemon? Dragonite is my my favorite Pokemon and I am a very big Pokemon fan. That's why Dragonite's my profile picture. I also like to think of it as though when somebody watches my content for the first time, that's kind of their reaction. It also looks like someone snuck their finger into his butt. Thanks for the question, man. The next question comes from Sayo is cool. Are you going to make a live stream? I do plan to live stream soon. It's mainly going to be solo male live stream plus a little bit of Fortnite and my Fortnite clan practice. But at the moment, you know, I would love to do something like that. But as I answered in the questions earlier, I work another full-time job. Maybe in the future, we could do something like that. I only get three days a week to work on videos. I don't have much time. Thanks for the question, man. Alrighty, that's it for the Q&A. Sorry if I skipped your question. I ended up having a lot of questions. And honestly, the recording was longer than my actual scripted recordings. Again, thank you guys all for 1,000 subscribers. It means the absolute world to me. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you guys stick around for even more. And yeah, here's to the future for more autism. Now let's do this Borderlands 3 giveaway. I compiled all your names, everyone who commented one time into this name picker, and yeah, one of you guys will be chosen. So let's see. I want you guys all to clench your buttholes tight, put your condoms on, put on your army helmets, and get ready for me to hit this button. Awesome. Okay, congratulations, Moon Monkey. You had great questions, and guess what? You are now the proud owner of Borderlands 3. I'll send you a PM on YouTube. I'm not really too sure how I'll do it, but again, congratulations. Thank you guys all for participating. Thank you guys all for watching my videos, and love you guys all to death. Thank you so much for 1,000 subs.